നാളല്ലേ അവിടെ ഡ്രാഫ്റ്റ് അയച്ചു പക്ഷെ അത് ഫൈനലാണ് ഇപ്പൊ റിലീസ് ചെയ്യാറുണ്ട്
இல்ல வந்துருங்க எனக்கு வேண்டி வெயிட் பண்ணுங்க இந்த கிளியர் என்ன தரல இல்ல சுதி சுதி ப்ளே பண்ணலாம் மெட்ரோ வெயிட் பண்ணுங்க இந்த வெயிட் பண்ணுங்க
we need the support of other, we seek the support of our professional colleagues, we enrich our knowledge, we try to update our skills, and we join together with this common purpose. But today's business is such that we don't get the time to be physically around in a classroom or in a training session, or spend time in a library reading about the latest plans in nature. And that is where we thought of leveraging the technology. And that is precisely why we thought of this series of webinars, so that our people should be able to learn, should be able to understand, should be able to update their skills, whatever, based on information that is gathered to their seat or given to them at their home, sitting in front of their laptop or computer, they should be able to understand what is happening around them or how do I build up my capabilities or competencies. And we plan to have a series of such seminars starting with the one by Mr. C.S. Anil Kumar, who is a past president of the NACMA 200 chapter, and he has chosen a very relevant topic, especially for any upcoming organizations, to find out leadership. Today's most challenging thing for any HR professional is to get the right people. For more than that, the people who are prepared to take leadership. There are many talented people, competent people, but we have a shortage of people who come forward say that I will take care of this department, I will take care of this organization. Maybe for various reasons. They calculate, why should I do this? They look at the risk, they look at the return. But we are, as HR professionals, we have to motivate people to come and be in the front, take leadership, do this for the company. So why should one do that? This is probably a continuous debate. And a similar topic is being debated by Mr. Anil Kumar. He is going around meeting organizations, giving executive coaching for leaders who have to take leadership of organizations. I think at our level in smaller organizations or in workplaces where we are involved, we still find such people. If you come out with a new project, you ask for somebody or a volunteer, and I'm sure many of you won't get a volunteer nowadays. So you have to coerce them to come forward and say that, okay, you are going to be the leader. That is the situation. In the past, there used to be competition to become leader. Now I think there is compulsion to take leadership. This is a major challenge for us as people. I think we have a lot of issues to be discussed similar to this. And in the coming days, we are going to get speakers like Mr. Anil Kumar, who are competent with their long years of experience in running and managing business in our state or being in similar situations where we are placed to tell us how certain issues can be addressed. I'm sure our members will be able to benefit out of this and more CDS and more uh, learned speakers are going to find time to share their knowledge with us. I express my special appreciation to Mr. Rajesh for making this a reality. And at the same time, it is good that he has taken the leadership, as I mentioned earlier, even though we are many techno-friendly people, including our secretary, <laughs> he is the person who has come forward to implement this, to ensure that this is happening today. My special thanks to you, thank you all, all of you, and uh, thank you each one of you for joining us physically here today, but as we don't mention, I'm sure many of our members will be listening to this uh, in their office, and more than that, if you don't get time today, tomorrow you will be able to log in and see this. That is the beauty of it. At your convenience, whenever you are able to find time, you can log in and listen to the topics. I think this is going to make a big change in the way in which NMP organizations, I mean, activities are organized. And this is going to definitely add a lot of value for our young members who are finding it difficult to come all the way from Techno Park or other places to be physically present here for listening to a speaker. Thank you each one of you for uh, being with us today and let me formally inaugurate this webinar series. Thank you. Mr. Sudhi will offer one word of presentation before he gives for the next meeting. Thank you, Mr. Bob Thomas. First of all, let me congratulate uh, the team for doing this game and Ajish also. Recently, I had a discussion with uh, Mr. Anil, head of uh, Apologies.
there were around 1,500 workmen over there. He was explaining my issue. Most of the workmen leave the bus boat 10 or 15 minutes before the shift ends. Think about the 1,500 boys leaving the bus boat before 15 minutes. And that multiplied by 1,500, the man was lost, he can handle it. In the recent long term agreements, they have introduced a scheme, digital punching. So it is not possible for a man, human man, to watch for what are they leaving and they have developed a software and uh, uh, computers are provided in the shops. And if they want to lead the sport, they have to put their finger and digitally at what end they leave the sport will be um, uh, calculated to the computer and proportions the recovery will be made for the survey. Then what I'm telling is that a digital IR in the IR is a matter of industrial relations. And he's introduced, he has introduced a lot of digital systems in that shop level. So this is the era of industrial relations, even in the industrial relations. So, we have done a digital meeting and everything in digital. So this system is more uh, have more relevance than the current scenario. So in terms of this inauguration of uh, uh, webinar is very important as well as an HR professional uh, body by NIPM. So I congratulate the charter for today's team. I don't want to speak much. And a special thanks to Mr. Ajish but immediately making it possible, that is most fun. Everybody will take responsibility, but he has made it possible. A special thanks to and I just thank you very much. So that all members, um, our members as well as the NIP members or who are interested can view the programs of our chapter from anywhere on this world. I wish that this should continue without any problem and uh, the proper uploading is the uh, main work behind it and it should continue. Uh, I wish all success for this program. Thank you. Mr. Rajesh, as mentioned, has uh, initiated this webinar. I request you to uh, address us on the topic. So thank you for this encouraging response. Uh, we are seeing quite a lot of uh, you know hits on the page as well. Um, you know, as the onset, as everyone says, uh, please don't forget to um, click the subscribe button and of course hit the notification button so that you get to know what's happening next. Um, when we were trying, you know, we were just kind of brainstorming to understand how do we reach out to a larger audience. Uh, one of the way which um, which naturally came out was how do we create a digital platform so that we could connect with more youngsters and of course people who are uh, traveling who cannot physically be available. So is there a platform where we could actually bring everyone together? And um, that was a thought process, and this was uh, seeded in one of the executive committee meeting. And um, you know. Uh, being with an organization which embraces technology, uh, you know, we are one of those fastest adopters of technology. So we said, yes, uh, I think this is something that we can explore. So um, we have started, we have piloted with three things, basically. Okay, the first thing, of course, is what you are experiencing at this point of time. This is uh, the, uh, the digital presence, okay, or as 
uh, YouTube would call it YouTube Live. Okay, we could go YouTube Live, Facebook Live. Okay, so this is YouTube Live for you. And um, we have done that by creating a channel in YouTube. So any person who is uh, subscribing to that particular channel gets notifications on all our programs and um, they could uh, see them live if of course we choose to go live because not all training programs can go live because of the confidentialities and you know the kind of thing ever says that we would probably sign with the trainer so depending on what is the uh, is the modalities that we actually go with some of the programs will definitely go live so that's one thing that we have uh, you know we have uh, we thought of initiating the second part is in terms of reaching out to a larger population in terms of um, you know uh, uh, you know we, we always call ourselves digitally literate okay but then since there is a, there's so much of uh, information overload uh, how do we get time to actually digest that information so we also took up an initiative to kind of consolidate uh, the news and views related to people, related to HR, and uh, we have, uh, you know, we have kind of piloted two editions of uh, this newsletter, this is a digital newsletter, which is reaching out to you all, it's called Tidings, and we would have its uh, next edition getting published today, and, uh, you know, you know, that's the second thing that we have initiated. This is, uh, at this point of time, uh, running, you know, fortnightly, and we hope that you know, it will continue, hope, you know, uh, fortnightly. Uh, we would try to uh, make it more richer based on what kind of suggestions and, in, and interest which comes from you. We would, in fact, uh, you know, suggest more members who cannot physically contribute to also virtually contributes uh, contribute content for these, you know, these initiatives. Um, the third, of course, is uh, as as we move into the digital learning space. Um, you know, we always talk about you know blended learning, big size learning. So we thought, uh, you know, for the for the HR community, why don't we bring out uh, learning videos uh, on best practices, stage practices, or uh, something which is hot in the market, so that we we get to you know adopt those technologies or adopt those processes in our organization and get a kind of a you know a win win uh, for ourselves and for the organization. So towards which uh, you know we have uh, digitized our first uh, experience. This experience is with uh, Mr. Anil Kumar CS. He is the Vice President of Reliance Retail, and um, he has uh, graciously consented to, uh, you know, speak on a on one of the area where he's a master. He's a certified uh, uh, trainer, a coach, executive coach, basically, and um, he has, uh, you know, he has spoken about you know, executive coaching as a tool for organizational development, especially at the leadership level. Leadership level. So this uh, video at this point of time is available on public domain. We have uh, launched it today. So you can start accessing that. Of course, for, the, for all the participants here, we would, view, we would be streaming that video here live. Um, but for all the people who are kind of accessing it from elsewhere, um, it has been uh, made public, so you could access it from NIPM Trivandrum, set, you know, uh, Center's uh, YouTube channel. So that's it. We would of course be looking forward for your encouragement and support. Please let us know how we could improve on what are the areas that is of interest to you where you would like to get yourself and your people trained. We would be more than happy to you know kind of engage with you in a very mutually beneficial way and see how we could take these digital initiatives forward. So thank you, sir. Thanks, Vidal. Thank you, sir. Now we'll formally screen the video and see.